Is the sun actually good for our acne prone skin? Have you ever been on holidays and felt like the sun makes you all glowy and it clears up your acne? Is that a myth or is it a fact? Don't think your skin big bandage. Well, welcome back to the acne channel. It's your girl Liz, aka Pretty Progress 23. This video is all about whether the sun is actually beneficial for our skin. I'm gonna break down the pros and cons, so stay tuned. Okay, so here are the pros. Number one, solar radiation has an anti-inflammatory effect on the skin. So this means it becomes reactive against a, an external attack of ultraviolet radiation. This means the skin is able to adapt to environmental conditions by producing melanin, which is like a natural pigment in our skin that protects us from the sun. So the sun can be beneficial for immune conditions such as psoriasis, eczema, and acne, but to an extent. The next one is that the sun does give us a natural glowy tan. So it kind of evens out our skin tone, making our hyperpigmentation appear less prominent, less darker. But again, that's short-lived and I'll mention this later in my video. The next con of sun exposure is that it causes this kind of local dehydration of the skin, which means it can control your sebum levels, especially for people who have oily skin. But overexposure of sun can cause the opposite effect. So the sun can be good to an extent, but if you're exposing your skin to the sun for too long, you're gonna dehydrate your skin. So your skin's gonna be like, oh my God, where is my natural oils? What's happening? I'm gonna produce more oil to counteract that change in sebum production. Risking yourself of congestion and clogged pores, and as a result, you're gonna get acne. Another issue that the sun causes is vasodilation. So this is pretty much the widening of your blood vessels. It's kind of like a fancy way of when like your blood rushes to your surface level and you look kind of flushed and red. So this abnormal disruption in your epidermis makes you more prone to pores and worsening your acne symptoms and as previously mentioned the sun can give this really nice tan evening out your complexion but that's short-lived um, it's just not healthy for your skin you're basically promoting aging at a faster rate than your body normally would age there's a lot of anecdotal evidence about like during summer your skin is glowing and then after the summer ends you feel like your skin's breaking out it's not because you're not spending time in the sun it's because the effects of the sun have accumulated to the point where its temporary results have faded away and now it's showing you the real damage. Basically, solar radiation causes oxidative damage. So it builds over time, over the years, and you start to get more wrinkles, freckles, moles, and an appearance that your acne scars have widened and deepened. So sunscreen is super, super essential for two main reasons. One is to prevent the formation of free radicals and two, to prevent photosensibilization. That's pretty much abnormal sensitivity of the skin towards the sun. And I've also got some practical tips that you can use in order to prevent your skin from sun damage. Number one, try to moderate your sun exposure. Um, I mean, if you're going out there and you feel this burning sensation, it's definitely a sign to try to cover your skin, try to wear a hat, sunglasses. Now, if the local dehydration of the sun helps your skin, especially people who have oily prone skin, only sunbathe for a short amount of time and steer away from having that like excessive tan or that sunburn. Number two, to try to avoid kind of the most intense times of the day where the sun is out and beaming. So this means from like 12 to 4 p.m. It's quite hot during these periods. Number three, try to use a high strength oil free sunscreen. There is a lot of like debate about whether you should use a physical slash mineral sunscreen or a chemical sunscreen. And honestly, this comes down to preference. So with mineral sunscreen, it acts like a physical barrier between your skin and the sun. So it doesn't really allow solar radiation to kind of damage your skin. Whereas with the chemical SPF, it pretty much absorbs the UV, converts it to heat, and it gets released from the body. And that's the difference between the two. With chemical sunscreen, sometimes people feel like they react to it more, whereas with physical sunscreens, it's more stable in terms of having a zinc barrier sitting on top of your skin. I personally do prefer physical sunscreens, but I am not to cancel out all chemical sunscreens. Do what's best for you, trial and error, and see how your skin likes it. And I'll do a full video of my sunscreen recommendations very, very soon, so stay tuned. My last tip is also to always hydrate your skin Biggest misconception is that if you dry the hell out of your skin, your pimples are gonna go away. But again, this is gonna throw your oil glands out of whack and cause an irregular sebum production. And you're gonna get the opposite effect. So when you over dry your skin, you're gonna produce more oils. And dryness also irritates your acne.
acne so don't do that hydrate moisturize and retain that protective layer on top of your skin so your skin barrier is functioning at its optimal and that's it for today's video let me know what your experience is with the sun when it comes to acne prone skin down in the comments below i hope you guys have a lovely day and big kisses Mwah. bye guys look at my <laughs> my girlfriend bought this for me and she was like i totally suit it and i just feel like i'm stuck in um what's that movie called matrix <laughs>